Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Last week, Microsoft announced that it's no longer offering new entertainment content for purchase, including movies, TV shows on Microsoft.com, the Microsoft Store on Windows, and the Microsoft Store on Xbox. Video will be linked. Now, another change that Microsoft apparently now is making for the store is Microsoft now is in its support for the store installation type of Office applications in favor of click to run. Now, Microsoft has mentioned that it will stop issuing new feature updates for Microsoft 365 apps with store installation in October 2025. So that's coming fast and security updates will end in December 2026. So just a quick video to give you a heads up. Now, in case you're unaware, Microsoft 365 apps can be installed in two ways on Windows. One is with the Microsoft Store and the other is using click to run Now, a quick recap regarding click to run According to Microsoft, it's a technology used to install Microsoft 365 subscription and most versions of Office. Windows Installer Technology, MSI, was used to install the volume license editions of older versions of Office 2016 and older, such as Microsoft Office Professional Plus and Microsoft Office Standard. And it's also a technology developed by Microsoft apparently to streamline the installation and updating of Office 365 and some other Microsoft products. And according to Microsoft, it uses streaming and virtualization to enable faster installations and allow for multiple versions of Office to run on the same computer. So basically it works by delivering Office apps in a virtualized environment, allowing you to start using them while the rest of the suit downloads in the background. So that's just a brief overview quick brief overview as to what click to run is more or less all about. Now Office apps installed from the store or using click to run basically look and feel the same from the outside so to speak but it's what's going on under the hood where that is a little bit different where the architecture and deployment methods are a little bit different and click to run is optimized for enterprise customers so it's better suited for corporations and enterprises and cloud-based management and a reason why Microsoft could be making this change is that rather focusing on UWP formats, like from the store, Microsoft is focusing on speed and administrator control, as mentioned, which is better suited for enterprise customers. Now, I do think it goes without saying that Office and Microsoft 365 is... A big reason why a lot of enterprises still choose Windows because those systems are integrated quite deeply into the Windows operating system. So that could be a good reason why Microsoft is making the switch. And another reason is obviously it can also help Microsoft integrate Copilot into Office apps without waiting for users to make the update from the Microsoft Store. Now if you are wondering what type of installation you have regarding Microsoft 365 Office apps, like Word as an example, what you can do is you would click File and then select Account from the left-hand side and here you'll see About Word. So you will either see Click to Run next to the version and build or Microsoft Store. So that's basically the difference between the two if you want to find out. Now if you have clicked to run, you've got nothing to worry about. But if you have the Microsoft Store, then you can upgrade to click to run, which is a free process. So how you do this is you would head over to the download page for Microsoft 365 installer. And I'll leave it linked in the description if you would be interested. And obviously you would need to sign in with your Microsoft account and make sure it's the same account for your Office apps. And then what you do here is you'd click the download button and then this will download the Office deployment tool, the ODT.
And then once that's downloaded, obviously, then you would double click the download.exe file and the installer will automatically detect and remove your Microsoft Store version of Office and then reinstall Office using click to run. And as mentioned, your regular user won't really feel any difference uh, in the actual usability and function and form and function of the actual app. It's what's going on under the hood, so to speak. And hopefully this new change will make the deployment of 365 apps a little bit easier for RT admins. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.